in 2021, uh, with the, the COVID pandemic raging and so many climate emergencies, uh, the, the world uh, had unprecedented levels of overseas development aid. And the Global North gave well, $180 billion in aid in 2021. You know what's bigger than that? Just repaying interest alone, the Global South paid $200 billion, and the total debt was a record high of $8.7 trillion. Forty percent of a country's gross national income is debt, but for some of the poorest countries, it's 250 percent. And when you, you owe that much money, then Really, your creditors run your economy. But if you are an indebted country, you either get to feed your people or repay your creditors. And if you are a very heavily indebted country, then actually what you have to do is generate dollars to pay uh, the banks overseas. But there is a renewable uh, source of dollars, and that's by growing export crops. And so a lot of countries in the Global South switch from having land that is dedicated to growing food for domestic consumption to growing food that generates dollars that helps repay the debt. And this skews the food system and makes exporters quite powerful, uh, but makes subsistence producers and makes the hungry far less powerful. Because of course, if your economy is tilted towards the export economy, then you have to import food in order to be able to eat. But because you're importing food, you're paying for it in dollars, and all of a sudden, uh, your capacity to do that is reduced because you know, your, 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 your foreign debt needs to be repaid to a greater and greater extent. And you find yourself on this horrible treadmill. Uh, uh, and uh, as, a, as a result, uh, you see a food system that is desperately out of balance, but is absolutely geared towards the, the needs of the global north. If we're actually going to address global hunger, the problem isn't that we need to produce more food so much as it is uh, we need much more equitable terms of trade and we need countries to have, not just to have their debt forgiven, but to have reparations so that they can refoot their economies in ways that are you know, conducive to a sustainable food system.